Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Now, I recently learned how to make French bread and make some French bread for the very first time and it came out incredible. Better than the than shop bought and so simple, you'd be surprised. Once I show you how to make this French bread yourself at home, you may never buy it again from the shop. Stay with me. Let's go. Before we get started, just do me a quick favour. Click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. Okay, let's get to it. For this recipe, you will need 500 grams of strong bread flour, one teaspoonful of salt, two teaspoonfuls of sugar, one tablespoon of vinegar, one seven gram sachet of active yeast, two tablespoons of oil. Give all the dry ingredients a good mix. Using a table knife, mix in the liquid until this is combined into a dough. Turn the dough out onto a floured surface and knead for about 5 to 10 minutes or until dough is smooth and stretchy and pliable. for the dough to turn out after it has been proved. Cover the bowl with cling film and leave to prove or raise until it has doubled in size. Dough can also be left to prove in a fridge overnight. The extra proving time helps to develop more flavour. After the dough has doubled in size, turn the dough out onto a floured surface and divide evenly into four equal portions. So you could always use a digital scale to make sure each portion is exactly the same weight. This stage is called pre-shaping. After pre-shaping, leave the dough to rest for around 10 minutes. This allows the gluten in the dough to settle and will help make shaping the baguettes easier. Take one portion of dough and fashion it into a rectangular shape. Then, fold the top part down to about halfway. Flip it around and repeat. This process is meant to improve the texture of the bread by creating what is referred to as tension in the dough.
When rolling, place your hands in the middle and apply reasonable pressure, slowly moving your hands towards the side. Make sure pressure is even, as this will help create an even shape. To help maintain the shape of your baguettes when proving for the final time, professional bakers use a heavy piece of linen called a couche. Using a sharp blade, score the top of your baguettes. This helps to create a controlled point at which steam can be released when baking and also helps create the classic baguette pattern. Placing boiling water in your oven creates steam which helps form a great crust when baking. They look good. You thought I was kidding, didn't you? These look absolutely amazing. No lie, my very first attempt at French bread and wow, boom, smacked it first time. These look awesome. Man, these things sound crunchy. That water, that steam in the oven's really giving these things a really crunchy, crusty outside. That's fantastic. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. It's not even a mouthful, mouthful, but these are nice. These are every bit as good as if a professional person had made them. So there you have it. Step by step, how to make a French baguette. Told you it was easier than you might have thought. So once again, thanks for watching Food Tech 101. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Food Tech 101 is now also available on Facebook and Instagram. Check us out there. As always, my name is Mr. Lybert. For you, you can call me Sir. A thing we know.